I moved to Australia when I was seven years old, originally from Warwick in England and I'd say I first kind of got into it in the school system in Queensland. From about the age of 18, 19, I've been taking it pretty seriously and when I was 20, I went over to America to start a scholarship at Drake University. The feeling of finishing off a session or finishing off a long run and just knowing that every time you do it you're just adding another layer of fitness to, to what you've already got is something that you can't really beat. Uh, I got a session with the Burt squad today. I'm going to be doing 2 by 5 k thresholds um, with about a two minute jog in between them. When I came home from America, it kind of allowed me to take a bit of time to think about my training, my racing, and kind of really plan out what I wanted to do. First 5K done. Uh, 15, 17, two minute jog now. And then one more 5K rep. Felt pretty good. I gave myself a few months to just really knuckle down with training and I think it worked really well for me because I had that extra time to just focus on training and I started to get fit really quickly. Me and Harry are doing 8x800 with a minute recovery and then probably 4 by 2 I'm doing two sets of 4x300 uh, with three minutes between reps. Today is my final session leading into this weekend uh, and so I'm going to be doing two sets of 600, one minute break, 200 and then after those two sets I'm going to be doing three by 300 as well. You really do have to give up so much and I have definitely learned that I think. Especially over the last year, I've seen so much more improvement in myself now that I've really tried to focus a lot more on running and just completely eliminating distractions. Touch wood, I'm now in the best shape of my life and this 10 month period at home has completely helped with that. I've now won the 1500 Classic in Queensland, won State 5K, and more recently broken 340 for the 1500, pretty much solo. 
when it goes well and you break a personal best or you win a big race, there really is no better feeling and it's great to know that all the hard work you've been putting in is paying off. And I think again, that just kind of continues to increase your motivation. I saw that the indoor season was going ahead in America, at least for some universities, and I applied for an exemption, and then third time lucky, I got my travel exemption. Um, and next week, I'll be flying down to Sydney on Tuesday, and then the following day on Wednesday, I fly over to America. If I can run a decent mile, I'll hopefully qualify for the NCAA Championships indoor in the mile. And then after that, it will transition into the outdoor season. And then I'll be focused on the 1500. And if I can just really feel like I've done myself justice, I'll be in the outdoor NCAA 1500 final. And from there, who knows what can happen. Now that I know that I've run these times and I've actually put some good races together against pretty strong fields while I've been home, it will have given me a lot more confidence to actually put it together in a race that really does count like an NCAA championship final.